Hello everyone, I'm Bill and this is In the Library. Last week I attended the 603 Writers Conference at Southern New Hampshire University, put on by the New Hampshire Writers Project. One of the sessions I attended, in part, talked about the six drafts of a book. That is what we'll look at today. So come on in, take a seat, and let's turn some pages. Draft 1 focuses on the story. This draft will lay out the basic story, the plot, the character, the setting, etc. You will use this draft to test out ideas and make a first run at dialogue and descriptions and all the rest. It's important to understand that first drafts suck. They're terrible. The final book may and probably will not look like anything that you have at this stage. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it doesn't mean you did anything wrong. That's just simply the way it is. Think of it as an experiment. You either follow up on that experiment and continue down your current road, or you will try something else. So what do you think? Do first drafts stink? Let me know below. That is where the second draft comes in. But if you want to take a break before starting draft two, go ahead and leave us a comment, like, thumbs up, and subscribe. We also have a great Patreon community. Links are in the description. For draft two, you're going to revise the story. This is where you revise and even rethink what you have. Do you like the story as it is? What changes can you make the story better? Or have you thought about a new story? As you work on this draft, these are the questions you should be answering. By the end of this step, your story should be pretty much set in stone. Then you can work on the details. Step three, revise your characters. In this step, you will focus on your characters. What would you like to change about the characters? Are there too many characters? Can you cut people without losing any of the story? On the other hand, do you need to add a new character as a result of setting on your story? Think about your character's backgrounds and histories. How does this affect their actions? You can even start looking at their dialogue. Does the language they use and the way they speak make sense for that character? You'll get another chance to look at this in Draft 5. Now Draft 4. Revise your narrative. Draft 4 focuses on the narrative. Now, narrative here is different from the story. Story means the series of events that happen in the book. By narrative, we mean the way the story is presented. Is it a linear, straight start to finish? Or does it start at current time, go to flashback, and move forward until it ends in current time? You want to decide on what works best for your story and the information you want your readers to walk away with. Also consider point of view. Is it a first person I story? Or is it in the third person? Or are there multiple points of view? Draft five, revise language. In this step, consider the language you use in your book. Descriptions, exposition, dialogue. You want to think about what genre your book is in and the audience that that genre has. For instance, a science fiction novel would have very scientific sounding language, but language in a romance novel would, of course, be more sexy and sensual. That's probably obvious, but it's good to be reminded. 
you also want to consider the age of the audience. Young kids would need easier to read and understand language than adults will. Real quick on the genre point, you should probably figure that out before now. Like, at the very beginning, you want to know what genre your book is in. But in case you didn't, you will want to get going on that. You only have one draft left. Finally, draft six, revised grammar. This is it, your last draft. Revising grammar means it's time to start your proofreading. Want to make sure all your verb tenses are correct. All your wording is what it should be. Make sure you check on capitalization, your punctuation. You have complete sentences. You check your use of articles and quantifiers when you're not using numbers. All of this goes into checking your grammar. And when you're done with that, you're done with your drafts. And I'm done with this video. Please keep on reading, and as always, thank you for watching.